the effects of plyometric jump training on physical fitness attributes in basketball players was explored by Rodrigo and colleagues in their meta-analysis, where they analysed 32 studies, which in total involved 818 basketball players. The physical fitness attributes examined included jumping performance, linear and change of direction speed, balance and muscular strength. This presentation, brought to you by Talking Sports Science, will provide a summary of their findings and recommendations. First off, regarding jumping performance, plyometric jump training enhances horizontal jump distance and vertical jump height using either a squat jump, drop jump or counter movement jump with or without an arm swing. In terms of horizontal jump distance, older basketball players, i.e. above 17.15 years, had significantly larger improvements compared to younger players, which may be explained by both neural and morphological adaptations, while for younger athletes the adaptations are mainly neurological, as they have yet to experience the increased anabolic hormonal concentrations associated with puberty. It was also found that performing more than two weekly sessions of plyometrics resulted in greater increases in horizontal jump distance when compared with two or less weekly sessions. Therefore, a greater training frequency is recommended as it allows for a greater volume of jumps to be performed across the week. And when combined with adequate recovery, between the sessions, high intensities can be performed which is key to achieving optimal benefits from plyometrics. However, regarding vertical jump height, greater training frequencies were no more effective than programs with lower training frequencies at increasing vertical jumping performance. Suggesting increases in vertical jump performance are achievable with less training stimuli. This finding could indicate different rates of adaptation or it could represent a bias toward prescription of vertically orientated exercises in basketball training programs. Moving on to linear sprinting. Plyometric jump training significantly improves players' sprint performance over both short and longer distances. This is likely due to increases in neuromuscular activation, maximal muscle force and power capabilities of the trained muscles. These adaptations may improve the stretch shortening cycle efficiency within the lower body, permitting greater force production within the concentric movement phase after a rapid eccentric muscle action, enabling players to move rapidly at the start of sprints and to execute longer stride lengths as the sprint progresses. Of note, of the 32 studies included within the meta-analysis, 27 employed a mixture of horizontal and vertical jumps within their training. While horizontal force-related capabilities are of relevance within the acceleration phase of linear sprints, i.e. less than 10 metres, vertical force application to the ground becomes more prominent as the sprint progresses and the speed increases, i.e. distances greater than 10 metres. As such, a combination of both horizontal and vertical jumps are recommended for basketball players to improve their sprint performance. Interestingly, subgroup analysis also revealed significantly larger improvements in linear sprint time over distances greater than 10 metres among older basketball players, i.e. above 16.3 years, compared to younger players. Change of direction performance time in basketball players is also improved following plyometric jump training. This may be due to the extensive eccentric loading during this type of training which increases the eccentric strength of the quadriceps. This may translate to a more effective braking ability when changing direction. Plyometrics can also decrease ground reaction time by increasing muscular force output and improve muscle activation strategies that promote enhanced inter- and intra-muscular coordination and movement efficiency. 
like linear sprinting, subgroup analysis revealed a greater improvement in change of direction performance time across distances less than 40 metres among older basketball players, i.e. above 16.3 years, compared to younger players. For both dynamic and static balance, moderate to large benefits were seen with plyometric jump training. It seems that six to eight weeks is an adequate training period to elicit improvements. Improvements in balance may not only enhance various aspects of physical performance, but may also reduce lower body injury risk. This may be especially true if the plyometric jump training program includes both unilateral and bilateral drills which was the case for all the studies included in the meta-analysis. And last but not least, regarding muscle strength, significant moderate improvements in maximal strength were noted following plyometric jump training, which may be related to neural adaptations, allowing optimization of relative force generated per motor unit recruited and muscle hypertrophy. Measures of hamstring to quadriceps strength ratio at different velocities were also analysed to indicate any lower body strength imbalances. Despite no beneficial effect following plyometric jump training on hamstring to quadriceps strength ratio, plyometric jump training can be complemented with other training exercises such as neuromuscular training, Nordic hamstring exercises and or balance training to optimise the hamstring to quadriceps strength ratio. So plyometric jump training improves lower body power, linear and change of direction sprint speed, balance and muscular strength in basketball players, independent of sex, age or plyometric jump training programme variables. However, it seems that older players are more responsive to the beneficial effects of this type of training compared to younger players on certain physical fitness variables, which include horizontal jump distance, linear sprint time across distances greater than 10 metres, and change of direction performance time across distances of less than 40 metres. And that concludes this presentation. Take a read of the full article, the link is in the description. Thanks for listening folks, see you next time.